I think today we're just gonna do I wanted to show you guys a little bit of yoga class the rest of my classes are boring no they're not boring they're really interesting but boring to be um, muted and fast forwarded I think so I'll show you guys some yoga and then we're gonna have like a Halloween celebration at the house later and I definitely wanted to do like a moon circle tonight so probably I don't know if I'm gonna include that but that's what we're doing today one thing I wanted to share with you guys was kind of why I do yoga in the mornings. It really helps, like, I know, you know, everybody knows it helps to wake up, to get your blood flowing, to do something uh, physical in the morning. But for me, yoga is more of, like, the breathing practice and through and living through the discomfort, like, learning to live with being uncomfortable, even though my body is twisted all kinds of ways. If I can learn to sit through that and really just breathe through the exercises, to me, it's just, it... That helps me with like my stamina my willpower all of it like all the things that i train and i need for hula basically are yoga practices so it's really interesting that oh everyone is staring at me so it's really interesting that yoga is able to like kind of include all of these things in the practice so let's go to yoga <laughs> now it's like a beautiful day and I don't have class for another hour and since Kyokaha is so close we're gonna head on down to the beach Last night I had my awesome sous chef Liliana help me make these cute little um, mummy hot dogs and now I'm gonna take them to my English class we're having a party where you bring food and you write like a very descriptive Halloween description using plenty of English 286 adjectives and all that jazz so I'm gonna go to English and then when I come home after English and Mo'okalaleo we're going to decorate a little bit more clean up the house and get ready for everybody to come over. So, why do I say it so much? So, it's like the most irritating I know, you do. <laughs> I can't stop. Anyway. Look at this. Look at what my roommates did, you guys. This is so cute. All of a sudden, we're festive. Literally the day before Halloween, we decided. <laughs> Look at these. What are you doing, Mika? What are you doing? Tell Get us. Get for the neighbor. Oh, no, bitch. What about for us? <laughs> I thought this was for us, but yeah, them too. This is so cute. So we're going to go ahead and finish setting up everything. I think everybody's going to come over in like an hour or two gonna get into costume and stuff so see you guys after well, we told you guys earlier that we we're gonna make do a moon circle tonight so i figured now is the perfect time to pull out the mana box the mana box has many different components um it's pretty much just a box of a lot of different things that i use to give me mana 
And of course it's Christmas themed because would it really be my mana box if it wasn't? In the mana box, we have all the crystals. We got our egg. Maybe I'll use this tonight as the as my um crystal ball. It's like one of my favorite amethysts from Kama's mom. What else? Oh, I have all my incense and some huge pukiave. So little fun fact, pukiave is actually like a smudger for native Hawaiian. So how you use sage to smudge and clear space of negative energies is exactly how you can use pukiave. So I like to use pukiave just because personally I have that root as a kanaka maori. That is what my kupuna did. So I feel more connected and I definitely feel like it's something that clears the energies i use it in my room um when we first moved in we did a huge pukiave i have all of my roll-ons so these are different chakra oils uh we'll definitely talk about the chakras another time i think this vlog is going to be too long but chakra oils and essential oils this is my doTERRA bag basically of essential oils super important i'll talk about chakra oils and essential oils on next week's vlog or tomorrow weekly i don't know we'll see on the next vlog um, we got some pa'akai in here, or Hawaiian salt, that is from Kauai, I believe, Hanapepe from the salt beds. Yeah, this batch is from Hanapepe. And then I have my cards, very important. And some other things that I'm not going to show you guys because my mana box is my mana box and I still keep it very sacred to me. But that's the little brief recap of the mana box. I'm going to get some things ready for the moon circle tonight and probably clean the house a little bit. We need to clean the house. So cue cleaning montage. It's that kind of party. We're vlogging. Hi. Hi. And she bought goodies. Okay, what did you bring, Kaylee? Number one, Halloween banner. Ooh, okay. Perfect. We needed something for like that wall. Number two, floating ghost. Ooh. Oh, and then last, the skull. Ooh, okay, so she's getting macabre up in this bitch. Um, we oh also, God. she also bought, uh, we're gonna make this like jungle juice thing, pinnacle whipped orange sherbet and Sprite and all of our kimchi. I think we're gonna wait a little bit longer till everybody starts coming to start making that just cause it has ice cream in it. Uh, I need to finish getting ready. Finally finished getting ready. Miss Unicorn, what do we have over here? Yeah, forest nymph. And what do we have over here? Princess Puppy in the making! Wow, Woo! She's so fucking cute. Uh, still waiting for everybody to get here. Right now we're just prepping the house. Look how cool everything looks. Mika's little goodie bag station. And this is like the area for carving pumpkins, the craft area. Kaylee bought a really cute craft that we're gonna set up over here for everybody to do. Oh, we don't have that. Sorry, we, don't we don't have that. So we will just use the sticky pieces. What it's supposed to end up looking like. Two, three. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. You don't have. <laughs> what did you bring? Ulu hummus. And fucking Ooh. bougie pumpkin, pumpkin chips. Chi oh. Oh. Okay. So what are you? A mermaid? Yeah. Style it. Okay. 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 Oh. Okay. It's like realized. it always in this house. So Guest starring my chef. Or what is like a, I guess like my assistant bartender. One scuba 
sherbet in at the beginning and then one at the end so it gives it kind of like this little like foamy frothy yeah that's perfect thank you foamy frothy kind of like texture and then you definitely have to try it because uh duh <laughs> nice and strong okay, that's how we like it okay Chandeli with the ulu hummus, homemade kimchi, we got chips. What's going on over here? Oh, Chavin is finishing up his cheesecake. And does anybody want a card reading? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, okay, we got the Looney Tunes squad. Bugs number one. Fashion show, fashion show, fashion show at lunch. Today was so much fun, but honestly, I am such a tutu. I'm probably, it's like what, 8 o'clock, and I'm probably gonna take a shower already and relax and edit while everybody finishes partying and playing Rage Cage and stuff outside. But this is just me. Tonight's moon is Hua. We're on Hua tonight. Very much a fruitful evening. Hua, kind of like egg. My Hua. Um, good for starting things, planting new things that will come to fruition, that will hatch. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. Nope. Your sushi! Koa! Koa, what are you, Koa? I'm a construction daddy. Stop! <laughs> They're here! Fucking her. Why didn't I think of this earlier? This is so much better. <laughs> is it a video? <laughs> okay, now I'm going to sleep.